welcome to Meet the Gimp. My name is Rolf Steinort and I am recording this in Bremen, Northern Germany. I got an email from Jason in New York and he just stopped the show about Treptex to find a different way of doing it before I started doing Treptex. And he found a different way with using layer mask and I think I should show you that in this tutorial. I can't show you the image which Jason used for doing Treptix because he used images which are not freely available so I can't use them. Using layer mask for doing Treptix is very easy and I have modified his concept a bit about using a layer mask. I wonder why I didn't had that idea. And I want to do a trap text with these three shots here. I want to have this image on the left side, this second one in the middle and this one on the right side. I want to change these square frames to something which suits this image. We will see how this works out. Now I can start making the triptychs with these images here and I press tab to bring my toolbox window into the foreground. Click on file and select new to create a new image and we get the default value of width as 3400 and 1200 for height. So, I have three images of 1000 by 1000 and 100 pixels border between them. Let's see how that works out. For getting this image into the new image, I drag the background layer of this image from toolbox to my new image here. And you get here background copy. This was my leftmost image. So I rename it as left and I press return after typing. So this image should be on the left side and the next image should be on the right side. So I pull the image in the same way and name it accordingly right. And this is the third image and this will become my central window. So I pull this image over to the new image and rename this layer as center. I make the right and central layers invisible. And now I want to scale the left layer a bit down. And when I zoom down a bit to say 10%, you can see the borders of this layer. And now the full frame of the image can be seen. And now I select the move tool so that I can move this image and adjust a bit. The image is not moving because I have selected the center layer. So I select the left layer and move it and position the bottle. I want to scale down this layer a bit. So I select the scale tool from the toolbox and go to the tool info and click on aspect ratio and in preview I choose the image option and now I click into the layer and put the info window aside and reduce it from the corner. I think more or bet less. I can grab this image and I can position it where I want to and 
I think I should have put some guidelines on here. So I zoom into the image by 100% and go to the top left corner. Now I pull the rulers down here for guidelines. I wonder why I couldn't move a ruler and here is an option move the active layer. By selecting it I can move the active layer. It's a nice option to protect the layers and I select the size of the frame as 100 on the right side and I go down and I set it 1100 and on right side I set it as 1100. This is the frame for my image. Shift Ctrl E gives me the whole image and now I select the active layer option and in zoom ratio I select 10%. I think I should select 13% and that's enough. I click on scale tool and keep the aspect ratio and pull this scale window out of the frame. Now I scale this image. Now I have the frame to look where I want to place this image and I think I should make it a bit smaller because I want to have the shards of glass here in the image. Now I click on scale and I get my scaled image. For getting the frame around the image I just add a layer mask. and I make my layer mask black that is full transparency and just click on add. So now I select a rectangle inside the borders here and fill the rectangle with white. I pull the white color over here and you can see that the bottle becomes visible. And for completing the frame here, I just zoom into it and I'll paint with white with irregular strokes on the layer mask. To do that, I select the brush tool, go to the dialog here and I select here a soft brush for painting. Before painting, I have to deselect my selections by pressing Shift, Control, A and now I can start painting with white. White is selected. Now I paint with white here around and you see while I am painting white on the layer mask, I am revealing the image below and the painting is irregular but it's ok. Now I am selecting a different brush and I think this is better. I get a fuzzy corner. I should zoom into the image 100% so that you can see it. I get kind of the fuzzy border here and I will make it a bit more fuzzy in a moment by painting twice above it. And now you can see that the border is getting a little bit more irregular.
perhaps this is not the right tool here but you can use different tools and now I want to sharpen this image you can check out that I am still working in the layer mask you can check it here the layer mask is selected with white here so click on filters blur Gaussian blur and I select high blur count here and I think that's okay and now I have really fuzzy border here around so let's look at the full image shift control E I have the first part of my triptychs and I do the others in the same way I have finished with the other images and you can see here I have over painted over the rulers and I can do that here too now I want to remove the rulers and new way of doing that is to go to the image image guides and here I can remove all guides and I found out that I can do a new guide here and select the position numerically it's wonderful to have this option the GIMP has so many options that you can't remember all of them go to view and deselect layer boundary I want to have this bottle a bit more up into the corner I think there is bit more space here and little bit less here I think the right and the center image are here at the right corner but I think this bottle should go up there so I'll go out of full screen mode I deselect the center and the right layer and concentrate on the left layer now I need the rulers for guidance so click on image guides new guide and type in horizontal position 100 again go to image guides new guide and select vertical position as 100 and now I select my move tool go to the options select move the active layer and I just move this up here I think I have made a mistake so I undo the step by pressing control Z and here you can see that the mask is selected I want to move the layer so now I select the image and I just pull it up and the mask moves with it I found no way to lock the mask but I can correct that I select the layer mask and pull the layer mask back to my corner here I think this looks better now and now this image is finished with the help from Jason in New York no this image isn't finished the thing I normally don't forget but I always forget when I'm recording because I have to think about such lot of other things than just making my image I have again forgotten to save it save it as yegameister.xcf xcf contains all the layer information and I'll cut out all the stuff about rescaling for the web you will find a link to this file in the show notes at meet the gimp at the rate org and if you want to leave a comment then please do that this is Hemant Vaidande dubbing for the spoken tutorial project